Shalom, shalom. So you know how I said that the Branch Davidians who lived at the Mount Carmel property were pretty much self-sustaining? They pretty much had everything they needed right on their own property. The members of the Branch Davidian community were known in the local community though. They would often come into town to buy supplies and stop at local businesses. This included David Koresh. Another thing that brought the Branch Davidians into the neighboring communities is their business. That's right, they owned a business. They had a retail gum business called the Mag Bag. Now remember that delivery driver who had the damaged package that was always delivering things from firearm companies to Mount Carmel? These packages were not coming to any individual within the community, but to the business, the Mag Bag. One of the Branch Davidians was a man named Paul Fada, and he was a federally licensed arms dealer. The mag bag often set up at local gun shows where they would make sales, and Paul Fada would do all of the paperwork, dot all the I's, cross all the T's, and make sure that everything was 100% legal. Coincidentally, on the day that the ATF raided Mount Carmel, Paul Fada and his son Kalani were actually on their way to a local gun show to set up a booth for the mag bag. So what does this have to do with the ATF raid on Mount Carmel? Well, as Michael, the operations manager here, pointed out in his comment, the ATF did have the opportunity to arrest David Koresh in public, in town. So why didn't they do that, you might be asking? The ATF received incorrect intel that David Koresh very rarely, if ever, left the compound. Despite being known in the local towns and going to businesses and attending local gun shows with the mag bag booth, the intel the ATF received was that he was not going to leave the ranch. And so they decided that if they would not have the opportunity to arrest him in a public place, that they would have to go to Mount Carmel.